Tonight, Minnesota lawmakers are racing against the clock to pass a $45 billion two-year state budget. The 2017 legislative session is legally required to adjourn by midnight tomorrow night. And so far, lawmakers are making little progress. Pat Kessler joins us live from the Capitol tonight. And Pat, how is it looking? Well, lawmakers are meeting tonight in a rare Sunday session, and they are under a lot of pressure to finish their work. Tonight, the Democratic governor and the Republicans who control the House and the Senate are meeting behind closed doors nonstop, and they tell us it's close. They're getting close. It's very busy, lots of moving pieces, but everyone really is in a collaborative mood, um, give and take, a little bit of having to work out details, but it seems everybody's moving towards getting this done. Well, the clock is not the friend of the legislature at this point. Lawmakers spent all day here waiting for actual bills to come their way. Top leaders telling us they need agreement tonight on most or all of these bills in order to actually write them, have them legally checked, and post them online, Angela, or actually print them and distribute them. So a lot of work still to do. And Pat, we know not a lot of time left, but we do hear that there are some big, big ticket funding items that are beginning to move. Yeah, that's true. Some of the bills are beginning to move. The agriculture bill passed. The House right now is debating an environment bill, and it includes a provision, a compromise on those vegetative buffers to protect water. Farmers will now be required. They can wait for six to eight months in order to implement them. Earlier, the higher education bill, that does include an increase in higher education funding, but angry Democrats were saying it still is not enough and it's going to cause tuition hikes at the University of Minnesota. The Republican Party, the Minnesota GOP, is raising the tuition at the University of Minnesota by starving them for funds. The Minnesota GOP, the state Senate, the House of Representatives cannot raise tuition at the University of Minnesota. The only ones who can raise tuition at the University of Minnesota is the Board of Regents. Well, inside the closed-door meeting, some of the members, some of the leaders are telling us that they're getting close, that after a couple of bumpy weeks and tempers flaring, they are now down to business. They're moving fairly quickly. One of them described it to us as urgently, and that is different from previous years here where the sessions ended in chaos and anger and confusion. And whether they're going to make it, they're moving, but whether they make it by the midnight tomorrow night deadline is still an open question. All right, we'll be watching. Thank you so much, Pat, tonight. You're welcome. Be sure to stay with WCCO for continuing coverage. We'll have the latest online and on our news starting at 4.30 tomorrow morning.